This video will discuss cell diagrams in electrochemical reactions. So going back to our typical example here of an electrochemical reaction, we have solid tin atoms plus aqueous nickel cations with a 2 plus charge reacting to form aqueous tin cations of a 2 plus charge plus solid nickel atoms. So the tin gets oxidized, loses two electrons to produce tin 2 plus. Those electrons then flow through a wire over to another half cell where we have nickel cations which receive those two electrons and get reduced to nickel solid. All right, so we can break this up into two half cell reactions. We have on the left the oxidation, the loss of electrons which occurs at the anode. We have tin solid reacting to forming tin 2 plus aqueous cations plus two electrons. On the other side, we have the reduction half cell reaction, which occurs at the cathode on the right in our diagram. We have aqueous nickel 2 plus cations plus two electrons, which came from our anode, reacting to form solid nickel metal. All right in the middle here of our diagram, what we have is a double bar, which represent the, represents the salt bridge where we complete the circuit of the wire flowing from the anode to the cathode, delivering electrons over here, which is balanced out by potassium ions, cations flowing to the cathode, and chloride anions flowing to the anode. So we can add these together and form what is called a cell diagram, where we have the anode on the left and the cathode on the right. So what we have on the outside of each cell is what our active electrode is. So we have tin solid here, nickel solid on the outside. And then on the insides, inside a single bar, we have what the aqueous solution is that is the result in this reaction. So tin to uh, tin ions, those ions are uh, counterbalanced by sulfate anions in this case. So going from solid tin to aqueous tin sulfate, separated by the salt bridge, the anode is separated to the cathode, where we have aqueous nickel sulfate ions going to form nickel solid, a single bar between them. So any electrochemical cell we can write a cell diagram for. It's just a diagram of the two half cells, the reaction arrow separated by a single bar, and the salt bridge separated by a double bar. Always remembering to have oxidation in the anode on the left, reduction and the cathode on the right. So reduction and right both start with the same letter. They're both on the right side. All right, another potential half cell we could have is zinc solid plus two hydrogen uh, aqueous cations reacting to form uh, aqueous zinc two plus cations plus H2 gas. So in this case, there's a slightly uh, different part of the half cell reaction that we have to include. Zinc to zinc sulfate is a standard kind of anode reaction, but at the cathode we have HCl going to H2 gas, but what we also need to include is what is the electrode that's being used. In this case, in a hydrogen electrode, we're using an inert metal for that wire from the previous video that we saw, which is the carrier of electrons from uh, one side to another. So in this case, it's usually something like a, an inert platinum wire, so PT solid, where we have a second single bar on the right side, including that further, even further to the outside than the rest of our reaction. Then for the reverse reaction, whenever we have an inert electrode in our anode, we include that all the way to the left. It's always just included to the outside whenever we have the caveat of an extra inert electrode to the outside. So going from outside to inside, we always have inert electrodes furthest on the outside. Then we have whatever our solids are or whatever our non-aqueous phase is on the outside of that. And then further in the middle, whatever our aqueous uh, species are in reaction, separated in the middle by the double bar of the salt bridge.